The Merida Team TR dropper seat post allows you to adjust the amount of saddle drop anywhere from 230 millimeters of travel down to just 30 millimeters. When combined with that agilometer sizing system, it means that you can get the maximum dropper post travel regardless of which zone size you choose. Adjusting the post travel is quick and simple, but it is important to follow the following process. Here's how to do it. First, you'll need to have pedals fitted to the bike. Push the seat post fully down using the bar remote to actuate it. Now, get on the bike. You can either ride it normally or use a wall or tree for support. With one crank arm pulling fully downwards while sat down on the saddle, press and hold the bar remote and then extend your leg, allowing the saddle to come up with your bottom. Release the bar remote. This is going to be the maximum saddle height. Your knee should still be slightly bent when the crank arm is at the bottom and you should be able to pedal without your hips dipping from side to side as you do so. Too high a saddle position can put stress on your joints and too low a saddle position is inefficient for pedaling. So you may need to experiment a little to get the position perfect. Just use the bar remote to adjust it up and down until you're feeling comfortable. When you're happy with the saddle height, step off the bike. Do not use the bar remote again, or you will have to repeat this process. To set the travel, you're going to need a 2.5 mm hex key. Luckily, you can find one on the multi-tool underneath your bike's saddle. Now, you need to undo the cover by rotating the screw on it one full turn anti-cockwise, and then pulling the cover fully open to the bottom. Make sure that the cover folds out easily. If it does not, undo the screw another half turn. With the cover fully open, you can now access the adjustment mechanism. Look at the clear window section here and you'll see the Kevlar cord that adjusts the travel. To reduce the travel, insert the 2.5mm hex key into the adjuster and begin to gently turn it anti-clockwise towards the minus symbol. Looking through the clear window, you'll see the cog turning and the cord moving. Keep gently turning the cog until the cord stops moving and the cog slips through it. Once the cog starts to slip, the travel has been fully adjusted. Do not keep turning the cog once it is slipping as this can damage the mechanism. Now remove the hex key from the adjuster mechanism and close the cover. Holding the cover closed, tighten the 2.5mm screw until you feel resistance and then gently nip it up. This is an important part of the adjustment process. The cover needs to be fully closed and secured firmly or the adjustment will not work. You can now press the bar remote. The saddle should not move upwards. If there is any slip, you may need to repeat the process, but if it stays stationary, then you're good to go. If you need to increase the travel of the post from this new setting, you should first extend it to maximum travel. To do this, simply undo the cover using the 2.5mm hex key, one full turn anti-clockwise. Fold the cover out fully. Using your hand to apply resistance, apply pressure to the saddle and then gently press the bar mounted remote to allow the post to slowly extend to full travel. If you want to use the post at the full 230mm travel, you can now simply close the cover by holding it closed and then tightening down the 2.5mm hex screw until you feel slight resistance. Now, to readjust the travel down from 230mm, you'll now need to follow the previously described steps. Anyway, we hope you enjoy your new Merida bike and the Team TR dropper post. Thanks for watching.